that just sounds so bad so I'm changing the bearings in the cutting deck and I'm going to show you some tips and tricks and uh, they also apply on other kind of cutting decks than just this used corner rider. Some things are easier to do when the deck is still connected and you can uh, safely work on it like this. Uh, in other cases you might need to remove the cutting deck. Um, I'm going to take off the knives first. and uh, on uh, They're all uh, clockwise uh, threaded in this cutting deck. But make sure that the cutting deck that you are working on don't have any uh, counterclockwise uh, screws because then you can be screwed huh. um, if you don't have an uh, impact uh, tool you can uh, you can block this up with a piece of wood something like this and then you know hammer it or uh, to get it off but if you are uh, doing this kind of work I, I recommend to having one of these or you can have a battery powered one they are quite good too When you're dealing with, with springs and stuff, one of these hooks can be really helpful. Uh, this came with a trampoline we got for the family, but I'm sure you can buy them somewhere. Uh, if I find any for sale, I'll, I'll put a link in the description. In case you forget how the belt was routed, it is here. I think I'm gonna have to do something about it. It seems to be sticking here. Hmm. To find out which ones are bad, you can spin them. And this one, it's not that bad. There is some sound in it. Oh, okay. Compare this one to this one. Hmm, I'm not sure. I mean, it could be just this one. To remove the whole assembly, remove these four nuts. And I think you might have to remove this uh, knife holder thingy here. To get it through here. I took a closer look on these and I actually think that they will be fine. Um, because I changed those bearings last year, but this one is really bad, so uh, I have to change it. Last time I did this, I had real troubles getting these off. Uh, I think I got this one off, but I couldn't get this rest of it off. So I, I'm going to do the same way as I did last time. Remove this and then just uh, get the axle out and I may have to cut the, um, like the inner race of this bearing here you will see what happens but usually what you do is you take these uh, pulleys off and then uh, knock this axle out change the bearing If you're having troubles getting things like this off uh, one of these assembly, you can put it in the freezer overnight and everything will be much easier to work on. But I want to do this now, so I'll use some lube.
Don't drop this uh, key that's in here. Okay, so I I set it up with uh, these are thin enough go, to go between this uh, assembly and this first uh, pulley there. Um, we'll see what happens. It could perhaps they will bend. Ha! Hmm. I have to remember to put these back in. And now when it started to move, it's uh, it's a bit easier. No, not enough. <laughs> I removed this bolt. It is for holding the blade and put in this instead. This upper bearing is fine, so there was no water in it, but the lower one So I'm putting in the new bearing and make sure that you uh, only hit the outer part of the bearing, not here So uh, this should do fine There is, a, you can see there's a place here that the bearing rests on, so you can't push it in too far. This is good. Now it's time to remember these uh, little ones. They are all over my floor somewhere. No. Last one. I I want to hold this part here against this part here because when I am hitting this axle through it I don't want uh, these uh, balls or the races to be uh, put under load or shock load so have something here Let's see if I can fix that maybe maybe I'll do it outside
When you sharpen the blade, try to only sharpen the top side of the blade to keep the profile intact. You can see the difference between the old and the new blades here. Uh, so the reason that this one has been uh, going against the cutting deck is that this part here is a bit worn. I don't know if you can see that, but here. And it goes, uh, yeah, it, it hits here, here. So what I'm going to do now is I will put it in like this instead. So we get a new surface there and then I also put a, a washer there. I made a little mark here. So it was just one bad bearing that made all that noise. Hmm. And uh, I'm gonna change. Now that's now this upper bearing here. It's actually fine. So. Oh, Jesus. Back. I actually wanna... Oh. Ah. 